Hello everyone, this is Miss Jones with Legacy's Little Luxuries Arts and Crafts YouTube. Well, I'm going to start on my daughter's birthday present. Her birthday's at the end of July, and I have purchased this Mother of Dragons metal art online, and it broke. Now, it broke right by the R and the A. So, to glue, it's not going to work. Um... I could solder it, but it is such a thin piece of metal between the R and the A that I decided I'm going to place this on a canvas. So I'm going to make a canvas pour, allow it to dry, and then place the Mother of Dragon sign with Everly and Legacy's name on this canvas. So let's start with the slideshow. I'm going to use various paints. I'm going to use silicone, Floetraw and some heat and I'm just going to make a basic backdrop possibly to look like flames maybe since the dragons do um, breathe fire so I might use like orange and reds but we'll see as I move along but anyways here's my canvas portrait it's empty clean slate and I purchased these from Joann's. It's about 11 by 14. And I decided that I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to place a basic coat on it first. I'm not sure what color yet. Probably black. And then start my paint pouring. So let's continue with the slideshow. Now I just took a wet washcloth. A damp washcloth. And I slid it across upwards starting from the black and going up and now I'm going to torch my painting You can use a heat gun to do this. I'm going to use this cute little lighter torch. It's kind of hard to do it holding the camera. Now so. I have my background colors. Now I'm just adding one more layer of oranges and yellows to make it look like the flames are really popping through. And I'm going to use a rag to bring it slowly upward. So now I'm just using this old floral arrangement that I had left over and I'm creating what looks like flames. Crackling flames. What do you think? There I go. I'm going to allow this to sit for two days. And then I'll get back on this video with you and I will polyurethane it as well. See you then. See you in a couple days. This is July 20th, Saturday, 2019. Well, good morning. Subscribers, this is Sunday, July 21st, 2019, and the painting is completely dried. I am in the bathroom underneath a different light, so you can see the design. Now, does it look like fire crackling in the background? What do you think? I swiped it with the rags and made the player layers of paint very thin so it dried overnight. Usually I allow the painting to set for two days, but tonight I will polyurethane this canvas.
Yeah, it looks cool underneath the bathroom light here. So you guys have a great Sunday. Make some memories with your family and friends, and I will see you tonight. I decided, I'm in my garage, so I decided to spray paint the Mother of Dragons metal sign and then I will go around it and try to peel it like it's, like it started out silver but then now it's burning or started out copper. I'm not sure if I'm going to use copper or silver or gold. That's what I'm debating on right now. And because it's already black, like it's already burnt, but I want it to appear that it's burning or it's melting or something to that effect with that background that I just created yesterday. So anyhow, that's going to be what I'm going to do with the Mother of Dragon sign. I'm not going to leave it black. So we'll see you in a little while. Hi folks, started to coat my painting and I have a package of sponge brushes and I used this coating for outside last year. It's Mimwax Houndsman Indoor Outdoor Spar Urethane. Now let me tell you something about this. It is great for outside decks. Now, you've seen my videos from last year. I did stain, and then I used this Minwax urethane over my stain. Now, some of the places on the deck have already peeled. It did not protect it from the weathered elements of the winter, and the water, and then the heat, and then the coldness. Um, my steps in the front survived that I painted and stained and used this urethane, but the back deck is already peeling. This did not coat it as well as I thought it would. So I feel though it will coat the painting and leave it glossy and with the great everlasting life for this project. Now, since I swiped the paint in upward motion when I was painting this, this is how I'm applying the urethane. I am doing it in a swipe motion. A good amount because a lot of this soaks up with the sponge and I just swipe it. thin layer because I will do this again and then when I add the mother dragon sign I will coat it one more time so there's going to be at least three layers on this three thin layers okay and like I said I'm going with the brush flow and that is an upward pattern because that is how I painted this canvas. It's making quite a difference, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice and glossy. And it's going to leave a great coating of protection over this. So the shelf life will last for many years to come. For my daughter's birthday present.
Oh, guess what? I ordered a tripod. I hope it works for this camera. So in the future, I can use both of my hands, angle this camera, and you can watch me complete an entire project. So this is how I'm applying the spar urethane and I'm doing it in an upward position just like I did with my paint strokes. One coat right now. Later on I'm going to add the Mothers of Dragons. Coat it with that on top of it. And then I'm going to coat it one final time which could take me into tomorrow. Um, I'm going to glue on the Mother of Dragons but I'm going to use the uh, if I can find it, my glossy accents. If not, I'll use Craft 3-in-1. So what do you think? Beautiful. Alright, I'll see you later on. Now here's the colors that I used for the Mother of Dragons. I first used copper, and then some gold, and then just a dab of red to capture the light when this is hanging on the wall. Can you see the red? Anyhow, this is the color. And, of course, it has to set because the poly, the spar urethane is going to have to dry for at least 12 hours. So, here's the other half of it. Now, like I said, I was going to scrape it and make sure the black appears through like it's starting to melt. But, what do you think? Should I keep it like this? Or should I bring out a little bit of black? Not sure if that's what I'll do or not. We'll see. I'll have to wait for this painting to dry. And I will then add the Mother of Dragons on top of it. This is Sunday, July 21st, 2019. Luckily, I have it in my craft room and I can keep the door closed. Away from the cats and grandkids are not here this weekend. So, I have me a couple days for this painting to set. Alright, we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, and by the way, make sure you throw away your sponge brush. Don't use the same sp sponge brush when you uh, coat this again. You have to use a brand new brush. That's why I have a package of these. Alrighty, talk to you tomorrow. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is July 22nd, Monday. Miss Legacy is over right now. She's sleeping. 7 o'clock in the morning. So now I'm going to remove my heavy pieces. And add the spar urethane. Once again, over the entire piece. See the sign? See how the sign is different colors in the light? Just depending on the direction you're going to look at it when it's up on the wall. I think it's perfect. So one way to fix that sign because it was broken 
And look at, I do have a little bit of the black on the sign. See right here. It is coming through a little bit here and there. Yep. Just need a layer of the spar urethane. And then later on tonight, I'm going to place one more layer of spar urethane. If I were to have some resin, this would be perfect for the final coat. But I do not have resin. And plus, with Legacy being here, you know, we do share the craft room. And it is a playroom. And the resin fumes would not be great greatest idea for Miss Legacy when she wakes up and she starts playing in this playroom during the day. The spar urethane will dissipate in the air. It's not that strong. Plus I'm using really thin layers. So anyhow here it is. And I really don't even need any more spar urethane. Duh. Craft 3-in-1 glue really worked to adhere the sign to the canvas. Looks good just the way it is. But I am going to, to keep the shelf life or the wall life of this painting to last and last. And I already signed it. Be sure you sign all your work here and there. Blend it in, make it small, you know, don't take it away from the painting, but yet it's there. Well, let's get going with one layer of spar urethane this morning, and then another tonight. Have a great Monday. Okay, the urethane did, when I brushed it through, or brushed it over the sign, brought the black out in it. Look at that. That's quite a neat chemical reaction. I'm not going to place any more spar urethane over this. I'm going to allow it to stay the way it is. The legacy sign's just a little bit too dark. But after all, it's in the blackened area. So it actually kind of just looks like it's being engulfed in the smoke, in the soot, in the flames getting ready to melt. I hope you can see it. But later on, I'll take pictures of it outside too when it dries. But that turned out cool with the chemical reactions to it. So spar urethane with metallic rust-oleum spray paint will take off the spray paint on the metal object. So basically that's what it's doing. So you know, in the future, what will happen with the reaction of the chemicals. Beautiful. Alright, I might not settle with another layer tonight. We'll see. Or if I do, I won't place it around the sign. On the sign, I'll place it around. But maybe this layer will do it. Awesome. See if I have another light. I can really show this. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Alrighty, let's allow this to set for a couple hours. Cool. Happy birthday to Ariel.
have it outside. It's drying. It's a nice breezy day today here in Michigan. Here's my sign. And then when Ariel's fell off, the wall broke. This is what I decided to do with it. Subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Send my blessings out to you and your family. Hashtag art is freedom. This is what I did with the hubcap. Rarewood tree. Upcycle those hubcaps.